So what you got? Still head trout, cut on a trail grill, a Lee barbecue smoker style. Recipe I'll share with you today is still head trout smoked on a trail grill. I'm gonna show you how I'm to take this trout and trim it up a little bit. The season we're gonna use, the butter mix we'll have to brush on top of it to maintain moisture, and what we're looking for for dunnings. So let's get in the kitchen, let's start prepping so we can start cooking. All right, so we got the Traeger lit. We're gonna actually get it at 300 degrees. While we're doing that, I'm gonna first off take my butter. I got about six tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna put it on the Traeger grill and let it start melting down. And then we'll add our other ingredients later on, I'll tell you about that. But I'm gonna put this on the grill first. So now we'll open up our steelhead trout and get ready to start kind of getting it done. But before I do that, I'm gonna take my cedarwood plank and I'm gonna come right here and I'm just gonna put some olive oil on it. Just take some olive oil and just rub a little bit on top of it. That way you can get kind of, it won't stick. The whole purpose of the olive oil is to allow the skin of the trout not to stick to the cedar plank. It makes it a little easier when we clean it up afterwards. We can set that to the side. And now I'm gonna come right here and I'm gonna start taking my trout. And I'm gonna open it up. Let me give you a little backstory about this trout. So we cut one of these uh, about a week ago or so for the YouTube videos. And it was learning your new channel. Thank y'all for subscribing if you have, I appreciate it. If not, please hit the subscribe button. But we're a new channel, so we are learning different things. And so we cooked this entire steelhead trout and found out in editing that the audio was horrible. So anyhow, what we, but when we tasted this trout, what we decided was, holy cow, this is good. This recipe is just too good not to share, not to, not to let everybody try it. So we said, well, we got, got to do it again. So we're doing the same recipe again, not changing a thing. Um, it is just that good. It is one that seriously, when you get through with it and you taste it, you'll be like, holy cow, blow your mind. Steelhead trout, if you've never tried it, Walmart's got them, uh, different places you can pick them up, but they are really top notch shell to try. And rub, we're gonna use a simple. Rub I'm putting on this is actually Rufus Tea Fish Rub. When I'm doing any type of seafood, any type of fish and stuff here, most of the time this will complement it pretty well, but this is my go-to rub for fish. This trout, it just took it over the moon. So I'm gonna come right here and take a little bit more olive oil on top of it. And I'm gonna come right here on top and just put a little bit in my hand and brush it in. All I'm doing is acting as a binding right here to let this rub bind to this fish. So with most meats, I put the rub on it and then I put it in the fridge about five, 10 minutes to let the rub start binding to the meat. With this trout here, with the oil I'm putting on it and the, and the binding agent, I don't necessarily need to do that. I don't think I'm waiting on the trader to come up again. So we're gonna let it sit right here. We're gonna put our rub on it. Like I said, roof stick fish rub. If you haven't checked it out, you need to check it out. I'm gonna go pretty heavy on it. One thing I remember when you're doing this and you make the butter mixture when you're cooking it, when you put the butter mixture on here to maintain moisture, don't brush it on until that rub is kind of caked into it or cooked into it to give a good bark to it. When it is, you'll brush it off. So you just can kind of just drip it on there a little bit and be sporadic with it. All right, so we got our butter. We just took off tray grill. It's melted down. We're getting ready to add our other ingredients to it. We're using tablespoons of minced onions, using the teaspoons of garlic powder, using a little bit more of the fish rub. I'm using some rosemary and some thyme. Take the little brush, I'm kind of brush that in. I'll put this back in. And while this goes in, I'm gonna turn right around. We have the temp on our trigger. I'm gonna put the fish in. I'm gonna put it right there at the front because the front's where it's a little bit cooler set in my trigger. The back's hotter than the front. So I put my butter to the back, I pour this in the front. We keep checking this about every three minutes. We just make sure what we're looking for for our fish will maintain the moisture. We're looking for when it starts to just get flaky, that's when I'm gonna pull it off. But I'm gonna start about every two minutes going there. And once I get a little bit into it and I see that bark start to set, then I'll start putting our butter on top of it. And I'll move my butter in towards the front, kind of get away from that hot heat towards it. So we'll come back in about a couple minutes, see where we at. It's been three minutes. We'll check it out, see what we got. See how the color right here? It's starting to kind of just get a little bit redder bind to it. We'll come in here, I'm gonna start my mixture, drain through the front. It starts to really start dissolving good. The clarity of the butter's in there, mix well together. 
So I'm going to take this here. Not quite ready to start putting this on there yet, but we got the color. So we're going to stir it up, bring it to the front. We'll let this go by another two minutes and check it again. Again, our butter mixture is looking really well. We're going to take it. If you look at our meat right here, we start touching it. It's starting to find a little bit. You see a little bit of it where it's not quite sticky, so I'm going to come across top of it like this. Once I get into it a little bit later on, I can put the rosemary and water on top of it. Right now, I'm just trying to get this more trend over. It really helps if you've got one of these brushes that's kind of got the ripples on it. So the whole kind of holds the moisture in there a little more. It makes life a little bit easier. I'm going to focus kind of on the tail end down there where it's a little bit thinner at. But I know I don't want that to get right. They keep cooking another three minutes. With 112, 102 there, the thick part's good. We're gonna start adding some more butter to it. So I'm gonna come across the top of it. Now my rub, I'm not brushing the rub off. See that? Come right here and I'm gonna add a little bit right on top of it. Still pat it, don't drag it. You ain't trying to spray paint off of it. Now keep going up and down. Set that to the side. Go back a few minutes, check it again. 110, 116, 128, 30. This end is the bottom because it don't have quite much meat on it. It's going to tend to be a little bit overcooked more than the other parts. So that's fine. We know what we're we we getting into. The hook's really on the heart of it. I'm gonna take this right here and I'm gonna kind of start to put a little bit on top of it. But if you notice right here, I'm not pushing down this brush. I'm just basically going over top of it, barely going to top of it, trying to move stuff around that we don't not take it up on. We'll let it cook a little more. We've got another 20 degrees right here, we'll be good. Man, it looks so good. One forty there. One forty there. I hear the dead center was a little bit lower. One fifty here. So go by temperature is a good thing, but really the true test that I always go with with a fish is I'll see how flaky she is. See on the edge right here, she's getting kind of flaky. When I put my fork into it, and I can leave my fork marks. That's what I'm looking for right there. There's getting a little bit dry on the ends. You see out of the ends right there, see that's a little bit hard to go in a little bit. She's ready to come off. Let's take this bad boy right here off and let's see where we are. Well, we're going to let it rest a few minutes and we're going to slice this bad boy up and we're going to taste it and it's going to be amazing. So stick around. Be back in just a few minutes. So what you got? Steelhead trout. Cut on a trailer grill and Lee barbecue smirker style. So as you saw, we took the trout, we took it out of the package and we seasoned it with Rufus T. Fish Rub and then we put it on a trailer grill at 300 degrees. Every five minutes or so, we come in here and start checking temperature and start putting our butter mixture on top of it and kind of get that, make sure we maintain that moisture. When the fish got to the temperature we're looking for, the texture we're looking for, we then took all of our butter, had a little bit of chard in it from the charcoal pellets, and poured it over top of this trout. Therefore, it's got to be an easy, even more deep flavor to it. So we get ready to slice this bad boy up and see what she tastes like. We go right down the middle right here. We'll slice this little piece out right here. The oil on the cedar really helps keep the fish from sticking. Take a knife, pull it. See the good color in there? Got a little moisture in there. <laughs> that sucker right there is gonna be good. Take this sucker right here on this cutting board. Let's taste it. Mm. Mm. 
<laughs> as long as we made this recipe again, that is unbelievable. That is awesome. On Joseph's side, all seriousness, this recipe, if you've never had it, if you never cooked steelhead trout, cook this one. If you want to take this recipe and take your fish and carry it over the top, try this recipe. You will not be sorry. You will not be disappointed. I promise you. You'll share this with everybody or you won't share it with nobody because it's that good. <laughs> I don't want to quit eating it. But this ain't for me. This is for my brother. So I put this in here to the side, but he ain't getting this little piece. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> that is good. Wash my hands. All right, I'm back here to wash my hands. Roof seat fish rub. Carries your fish over a whole nother level. Royal Oak, 100% hardwood charcoal pellets. Takes it to a whole nother level. Those two combinations on a tray of grill using this recipe, I promise you, you will not be sorry. I promise you that. And I mean that with all sincerity. Try this recipe out. If you like our videos, hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on the bottom. That way it'll notify you new videos coming out and they come out on a weekly basis. If you like our videos, hit the like button also and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this recipe. We'd love to hear back from you. Don't forget to follow us on social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Got new videos posted on there. Our videos post on YouTube every week, so we greatly appreciate you watching our videos and sharing this information. It helps us grow this channel. We're a new channel. With that being said, we're going to say the blessing, and I'm going to give this to my brother for them to eat it. But before we do that, we're going to let Dolly try it. Dolly, are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, I think you're ready. You already had this one time. You want to try it again? <laughs> Was it good? Is it that good, girl? She's missing it. it. Must be that good. She does this on purpose. Come on, one more. Dolly, you want to try it? <laughs> well, Dolly liked it. I reckon y'all will too. Well, we're going to say the blessing so we can give this to my brother for him to eat. So let's say the blessing. Lord, bless food by our seed. Just now I pray. Amen. Thank y'all for watching. See you next week.